G'day everybody, my name is Lyle and welcome back to G, I guess it feels like it's been a while, it's only been two weeks, uh, but we're back, we're back to crack this game open, uh, probably not, but um, we're going to do what we do, um, and that is probably flounder around and get some good guesses so welcome everybody to to the channel today uh welcome to the game our streak is still six we still haven't been able to beat it yet we've been close we've been very close uh recently we just haven't been able to nudge it but uh hopefully today fingers crossed it's a new day it's a new dawn um what however that song goes um but we're going to try our best we're going to try our dandest to do better than we've done before so welcome everybody in the chat uh whack a dental cap welcome to you rebecca oh you're under a, a severe storm watch oh hopefully we won't lose you uh but make sure you stay safe that's the main thing uh christy and stacy welcome to you guys as well stan and uh whack did i say whack i don't know whatever whoever welcome welcome so let's jump in let's do we're obviously on single player country streaks let's see where we end up i guess uh hopefully fingers crossed it's 
going to be a city somewhere with a flag and the name of the country. That will be fantastic. All right, let's jump in and let's uh let's play. No, it's not Peru. Um, ooh, wow, that's an old, sh very old Chevy. Very old Chevy. Um, that's a lot of moisture and mold. Uh, on that house in that corner, isn't it? Uh, okay, so it's not in English. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's very hard to read that sign. But it's got a telephone. It's got a cell. Um, is it seven den lots? I take it that's what that means. Okay. Uh, okay. It kind of looks very tropical there's a few palm trees and stuff around uh it's very green i don't know if that's the the camera or i think it's very green very um that car looks moldy like it's algae and everything growing on it a lot of moisture a lot of heat a lot of humidity i think i think that's what it what it says What did I say, didn't it? Something Villas? I don't know if that's in um, Spanish. S-A? Hmm, Argentina? Mm. Kind of got a very tropical feel, but I mean, it could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Uh, Dominican. It could be. Actually, that's probably. Um. What are we looking for? Dominican Republic. Oh, Dominica. Oh, that's what you said there. That's it. Good choice. Um, yeah, definitely. Tr I think it probably, I think around here is going to be a good choice. Um, definitely around there. I just can't make out what that sign says. It's like it's almost telling me exactly. But it says S A. Is it G U G L maybe? I don't know. I can't read it. Uh these signs have obviously been up for a long time. Um Alright, what do we reckon? I think the first one somebody obviously take care of their um trees. So, there's a lot of, um, good fencing up here too. <clears throat> I don't think it would be, I mean, SA is obviously straight away, I think, South Africa, but I think that could be SA anything. That could mean anything. The, that is a Chevy. Um, definitely looks like a Chevy badge. Uh, it looks like it's a little worse for wear. Not gonna lie, I don't think it's been driven for a while because you can't even see out the windscreen. Um, or the windshield, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mexico? 
Mm, I think it might be a little bit more tropical than that. Maybe, mind you, that is right on the... I mean, you're getting pretty close to the tropics. Ah... <sighs> All right, what do we reckon? What do we reckon? Okay, let's... Dominica. Let's go that. We haven't... It's our first choice. We haven't got any other... I'm kind of thinking it is somewhere around here. Uh, I mean, it could be, could be over here for all we. Eh. Not with the language. The language definitely looks like it's kind of over here, and with the tropical feel, that's what I'm thinking. Brazil. I don't know. Is that Portuguese? You know, you think we'd know by now, but um, I don't know. It's very hard to... Something villas, so... All right, let's just guess. Let's just guess. Uh, Hippie, how are you? Welcome, man. Nomura, how are you? Let's guess. We'll throw this first one off as a complete guess. Uh, we've got Dominica. Go. Oh, we're so close. Panama. I was kind of thinking... I mean, that's right near the, the um, tropic as well. Equator. All right, just outside David. Of course we were. Of course. We, I mean, we're close. We're close. We're in the region. We're warming up. First one to warm up. Oh, my God. What the hell? Uh, what's that say? Oh, I just can't read it. So, wait. We're driving on the right side of the road. Oh, hello. Oh, God. We look very tropical again. Um, considering we're on this side of the road, I'm going to say Southeast Asia, um, and I am going to say Thailand, um, just because I can. Uh, I don't know. Does that look like Thai? It might. Black and white stumps. I don't know if we've seen them before. Different than the black and white ones we've seen the last time. Um, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Panama. Like, um, Van Halen says, Pamela. Pamela! No, that's not how it goes. What is that? Is that a rubber tree? No. What is that plant? Oh, is that a vine? No, that looks like a whole tree. No, rubber plant looks different to that. It's a very broad leaf, isn't it? Mm, I'm thinking. Mm. Oh, what's that say? Oh, I just can't read it. Need to get a reflection off the guardrail so we can read it. Can we see it in there? No. Okay. Um, I'm definitely getting. Mm. Absolutely no, no clue here. No. I'm just thinking because they're driving on the the same side we do. Um, it does definitely does look Southeast Asian mountain kind of range. Mm. Do you know? Mm. Uh, mm, Alright, let's go to Thailand. I have no idea. I don't know. Go. Oh, son of a lucky son of a gun. Told ya. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that was a good guess. That was a good guess. Whew. I must have lost my cool there. I... Uh, all right, now there was something. Uh, 
cooperative the trapper wait T R A B A J O B A J O Defo Spanish Okay. Are we thinking? You thinking Mexico, maybe? Oh, look at the power poles. That's very particular painting, isn't it? Um. Oh, here we go. Mm. Uh, is that an Argentinian flag? That looks very much like an Argentine. Oop, wrong. Mm. Looks very Argentinian to me. Looks very Argentinian. Um, work in Spanish. Oof. We don't we don't like that word around here. What's um? No, definitely not Brazil. No, Chile's not that. No, red. I'm kind of thinking Argentinian. Uh, it's the green on the poles. Why is it painted blue and white? I can understand, but green. I definitely thought that was, um, I definitely thought that's an, it definitely looks like Argentinian flat. Is there another one over there? Yeah, uh, maybe. Hmm. Let's go. I'm pretty happy with Argentina at the moment. All right, let's um, let's do it. Let's go Argentina. Oh, come on. Yes. Woo. Excellent. E oh my God. Seriously. Oh, this is going to be easy. Look, the moss is growing on this side of the rock. This is definitely going to be Finland. Easy. Easy as, mate. Chuck us a hard one next time. Chuck us a hard one. Um, If anybody knows where we are, yikes. Do you know what? This could be Finland, actually. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I thought. You know, it's that um, it's that greeny lichen. Definitely got a Finnish feel to it. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. All right, go Finland. Unless everybody, anybody's got any other different views. No, Finland. Excellent. That's what I'm thinking. Uh. Yeah. Oh, sh God, bloody Swedes. Got in the middle of us. Um, okay. I mean, we we're close. We were bloody close. Ah, damn, we were close on that one. Uh, look at the, the mountains here. Tabletop mountains. This kind of definitely feels, um, Valerie, how are you? Welcome. Mm, this kind of sound, this feels very much South American, maybe.
Oh, that's what the SA when the first one meant. South America. Fucker. Missed that. Ch Ooh, Chile's a good guess. Richard, how are you, mate? Welcome. Uh, Chile's definitely a good guess. We've had um a couple of times and it's been kind of thrown us off for sure. Don't know. Don't know. I like the mountains. I don't know. Oh, we've got some kids hanging out here. Um, these two boys look like they're twins almost. Same color shirt on. For, man, if it's Peru, I don't know. I don't think the mountains are big enough. They're like there's two. Um, I don't know how much flat land is in Peru. don't know first thought was mongolia but yeah it yeah see i i kind of thought mongolia too um but then it's too maybe it's too mountainous to be the steps i don't know if they have that much that well we could be in a mountainous area um but i was kind of thinking mongolia too i mean they do have mountains but they do have a lot of flat land. Um, and to be honest, they don't look Mongolian. Um, just putting it out there. Uh, yeah, I think too many mountains from Mongolia. I don't know. I don't know. Chile's a good get. Oh, get off that one. We're not even over there. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of torn if we're, I think we might even be over here. I'm thinking Botswana, but. Mm, just because of this, the only places we've seen this is african countries and that was nigeria i don't know if this is nigeria but they may have just copied the the water uh i don't know now I'm completely stuffed yeah um chile definitely had a lot of remote areas for sure yeah the only place i've seen people do this water tank on stilts is hmm it's the mountain ranges i don't know looking at them if they're south american i know that sounds a bit stupid but i don't know and the housing seems different too ah uh, i got nothing do you know what Let's go. Mm. Looks very Andes type land. You know what? We'll go Chile. We'll go with Richard. We'll go with Richard um, with uh, Chile. I'm thinking maybe it's over here. But anyway, we've got nothing to lose. Let's go. Uh, we'll close kind of thinking it was over here ah, okay okay pick and pay what the heck okay all right we're kind of we're kind of tossing and turning um i 
axis. I don't know if that's in Spanish or what, but that's um obviously political statement there. Alrighty. Oh, French. Oh. We might be in Senegal, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Senegal. On, where the hell is Senegal? Uh, hello. There. Senegal. Says the Senegal office. Now let's not just take the first. Um. Instant. Wow. Very colorful. Excellent. It looks hot and dusty, doesn't it? it looks like a strain out back, actually. Uh, with all the bloody dust everywhere. Uh, let's go Senegal. I've just got a kind of a feeling about it. I don't know where it's come from. But anyway, let's go Senegal. Oh, wow. That was a great feeling. Right at Dakar. Excellent. All right, next round. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks very English just from that sweep. Still looking very... Mm, not so much English now. Uh, Arat. Arat. Stop. International stop sign. We all know what that means. Nice looking... Mm, are we in the Netherlands? I've seen that kind of roof line before. French again. Mm, okay, maybe not the Netherlands. Does that say Montreal? Oh no, that's Villa in Montreal. Uh, okay. Canada? Mm. Yeah, it's got a, yeah, okay. The cars? Okay. Yeah, it's got a big old Ford there. It's Bishy. Do you think Canada? It's because it's got the Montreal, but I mean, obviously that gives the game away, but you don't think they'd have a. Do they look Canadian? Hey, mate, you Canadian? Oh, 52nd Avenue. Okay, yeah, that's definitely Canada. I don't think a French province of... Well, I don't think France... Oh, well, maybe. But that's more of a North American way of um, numbering streets. It looks like a pretty good neighborhood. Roads are a bit kind of... Worst for wear, but apart from that, okay, let's go Canada. Avenues also French for street. Yep. Um, with the cars and the name and the streets, let's go Canada. Maybe. All right, let's go Canada. What Montreal's over this way? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go Montreal. Yes. Perfect. Told ya. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, look at this. Where the desert meets the ocean. Okay. I don't know what that is. Van. Thought there was going to be some clue on that, but nothing. Kinda. Mm. We might be up here in the Gulf. I'm thinking maybe here. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe the Persian Gulf.
Maybe. Mediterranean? Hmm. I mean, I get, it could. Could very well be Mediterranean. Um. So we could definitely, well, I mean, there's heaps of different um, countries that go into the Mediterranean Sea as well. Might even be up here as well. I'm thinking we're definitely around this area. Hmm. See, we could be right in <clears throat> Greece for all we know as well. Maybe near, near the Suez Canal? Could be. I mean, there's so many... Um, the fact that we can see land on the opposite side and it's not too far away either. There's obviously... Uh, ferry ride away to the next port hmm interesting definitely looks dry and dusty um on this side but that could just be Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Is that farming? Is that what that is? Oh, I don't think it's dry and dusty. Is it farmlands that have just been harvested? Is that what that is, a farm? Maybe that's what it is. Well, it kind of looks like it's pushed to the edge here as well. Maybe that's what it is. It's just been harvested. Hmm, interesting. So what do we reckon? I don't know, it kind of looks like the land is worked a little bit, maybe. But it definitely has got the Italy. Mm. You reckon it's going to be Italy? I mean, for we haven't got any other choices, so I mean, it could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Um, all right, let's go with Rabadam's choice. He's got, um, if this, if this is Peru, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't see, mm, have they got European plates? I can't really see. I don't know. It doesn't maybe look like it. Don't know. All right. Let's go. Rabbit. Da mm. I don't know. The number plates have thrown me off as well, too. So. All right. Let's go. Italy. I, mm, I don't have a feeling it's Italy. But anyway, we'll go Italy. Let's go. Mm, I mean, we're close. We're right across the bloody water. Right across the water. And it's not even the ocean. It's a... The lake. Aka. Mm. We were close. We're right in that spot. We're right in that spot. You're claiming that's a victory. <laughs> hey, well, close enough. Close enough. Um, 
extend free up to something. Damn cold. Okay, there's a lot of English words. I think definitely Southeast Asian. Um Mm. Looks like a little bar or something they've got up here. It looks pretty. The thatched roof on it and everything. Primates. Definitely, we're definitely in this area. Um, oh, look, they got the snake plant. Uh, all right. What have we got? What have we got? Yeah. Is, that a, is that a dog? What the hell is a dog doing? Running. Uh, probably chasing the bloody car. Mm, I don't think it's Thailand with that much English in there. Hey, Peggy, how are you? Where in the world are we? Who bloody knows? Mm, maybe the Philippines? Philippines is a good guess. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Vietnam, but I don't know. It could be anything. Could be anywhere. I'm just thinking, I think we've got some rice patties and stuff out here. Uh, as you would expect. Definitely Southeast Asian, tropical looking. Because it's not, obviously not in Thai. It's not in uh, Hindi or anything like that. I don't know because because it's got the English in it too. It could be Philippines. A lot of people speak. I mean, I think one of the national languages in Philippines is English anyway. Uh, Philippines is a good call. Cambodia, no, Cambodia's got um completely different writing. Um. I mean, anywhere in this Southeast Asian vicinity, I think it's going to be a good guess. Let's go to the Philippines. I kind of have a thinking it's Vietnam, but let's go Philippines. Malaysia's a good call too. Malaysia's a good call as well. I mean, even Indonesia, it's a good one as well. Let's go. Let's go Philippines. Oh, good call. Good call exactly where we thought it was excellent good call um paula how are you welcome if i haven't said hello to you carol i didn't even know if i said hello to you carol but uh good call on that as well welcome to you guys uh okay we got that one we got that one um ah wow, look at all the wood holy moly I was going to say it's got a kind of a German feel to it. I'm pretty sure that says, is that German on the packet? Is that night something? Not. Is it knocked? Not. I don't know. Looks Austrian. I quickly read that and I thought, no, that's not Australian. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is that? German? Yeah, that's what I thought. Germany or Austria? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's kind of there was a sign here. What does the sign say? Uh, no, that's a mailbox. Hmm. Well, there's a little hidden veranda up here. You can look straight into your neighbor's house. Perfect. Uh, okay. I think we definitely agree. It's um somewhere around here. I um, think we're in our <laughs> We're kind of thinking German. Oh, the houses look weird. Dutch with all the flowers. Or it could be Austria. Hmm. The houses look weird coming from a German. Maybe it's not Germany. Um, there is a lot of flowers though, but that might just be this area. Um, it looks like there's a bit of forest at the back here. They're obviously stacking up for, for winters. Obviously it gets very cold. Um, the German writing... No footpath, so maybe this is a footpath, but it's got a road, so hmm. Okay, let's go Switzerland, Austrian ski resort, Switzerland. I mean, it's all in that area, isn't it? Let's split the difference between Germany and Switzerland and Austria. Go back to the poster. Uh, this one. Is it... Nach... D-E-R... Something? I don't know. S... Is it... Uh, might be S-T-R... E I is that C or G? I don't know. C H E. You can tell my command of German is almost as strong as my English. Very, very well. <laughs> Yikes. Man, that planter almost matches the concrete. That's they could have at least painted it. All right, what do we reckon? What do we reckon? Um, do we reckon Heidi? How are you? I, okay, I guess that's the land there. Okay, that's why they put a grate on that, so you can't get into it. Okay, go Austria. I'm kind of thinking, mm, I'm kind of thinking Austria. Let's go, you know, let's go Austria. Go. Switzerland. We should have listened to Rabbit Dan. Bugger. Um, all right, let's just skip over that one. Whatever, whatever. What okay, well, where are we now, smart ass? Um, okay, we're in the middle of nowhere by the looks of it. Good, um, good deducting, rabbit dam. The poles look Estonian. It, it kind of, I'm a, it kind of does, uh, with the black tip on it. Hmm. Nice long straight road, isn't it? Okay, so we're driving on the wrong, the wrong side of the road sure we've been here before it kind of mm, i mean it is just a straight road in the middle of the bush so it could be anywhere um you know what 
you know what? Let's go to Estonia. Uh, we all know where Estonia, oh, where Estonia is. <sighs> A laugh of it is. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's Russia. What in the hell? I mean, it's right next door. Right next door. We're in St. Petersburg. Okay. 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 The road and the trees look US. You mean USSR? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, they're, um, this looks never No. Wow, what is going on over here? It kind of looks, um, German, not going to lie, like, um, almost fairy tale-ish with the buildings. Maybe it's French. Hmm, interesting. It kind of looks like a resortish kind of place, would not it? Right on the river? Mmm, don't know. This could be three third, uh, three quarters of uh, Europe, that is for sure. Oh, here we go. What's this say? Uh, something, 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 something. Don't know, I can't read it. It's very blurry. I wonder if I put my glasses on, I'll be able to read that. Probably not. Uh, I mean, honestly. Honestly, who graffiti's a bloody light pole? Jeez. Oh, hello. Oh. Thought that was a tombstone. No, it's not. It kind of got it like a resorty kind of we'll go here for the day kind of feel. Um I take it the river's down a little bit. Looks like the waterline. Kind of looks like it's been here for a while. Mmm, looks Italian. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like Rabbitan says, this could be anywhere in Europe for sure. Looks like a nice, nice day though. Sit by the water, have a bit of a picnic. Nice cool breeze. Lake Garda. Um, where the hell is Lake Garda? I didn't, what? Where is Lake Garda? Oh, uh, you mean in Italy? Is that at the top? Uh, wait, is that, I don't know where Lake Garda is, wait, is that it, nope, I don't know, I have no idea what, oh, wait, is that it, hey, found it, <clears throat> I mean, you could be right, it's kind of, I mean, it could be, I don't know. That looks pretty, like, wider than what we're looking at, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks a bit bigger than that. Um. All right. I think my wife has friends that are going to Lake Garda this year. I think that's why it stuck, uh, stood out for me. Italy's a probably a good, I mean, it could be anywhere up here, couldn't it? Anywhere, really. All right, we're just going to have to guess. What are we going to guess? I mean, it goes back quite a ways. This area. Colorful houses. Are, um, 
nice as well. All right, what do we reckon? We're going to have to narrow it down. Italy, Slovenia? What the hell? Really? Uh, I mean, I, I guess it could be. I don't know what you'd be looking at though. Is there any, like, mm, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Could even be Germany, could be Florence, Estonia. Oh, man, if it's Estonia. <laughs> All right. Norway, maybe? Paula is saying Norway. Carbos is saying Norway. Uh, do you know what? Let's go Norway. Let's let's live a little bit dangerous. I mean, it could be. I guess it could be anywhere. I mean, it could be anywhere in the world. That's the whole point. All right, let's go Norway. If this is Estonia, if this is Estonia, that's it. Watch out, bloody watch out. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's do Norway. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Carbos. Carbos and Paula. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, good guessing. Good guess. Fat, is that a seagull? What is that? Okay. Good guess, guys. Um, does that say Central American? Maybe. Maybe. Spanish. Oh, hello. Uh, para. No, I don't know anything in there. Um, telephone. Emergencies. Okay. Region 3, Quadrant 8. I'm assuming that's what it means over there. Hey! Julio loves... Isvania? Okay. It's a mouse and seagull. Oh, okay. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking it. Looks better than just a white wall anyway. Um, so I'm thinking... Definitely... I wonder if we're in Paraguay. Maybe? Uh, maybe that's what para to something Paraguay Central America. I mean, it could be, couldn't it? I mean, it could be Puerto Rico and Mexico. <laughs> right. You need to get out and see your country, mate. All these places you're missing out on. Um, I'm pretty sure that says Central American. Um, it's the, the, the colors of the flowers. I like that orange and pink. Mm, what do we reckon? Para equals four in um, Spanish. Means we're working for your security. Excellent. Puerto Rico, Mexico. 
I mean, they're all good guests. We've got some mountains in the background here. Um, all right. We're thinking Mexico. Uh, what else did we say? Puerto Rico. All the way over here. Mexico. Phone cables look, yeah, they're pretty neat and tidy, aren't they? Um, I mean, it could be anywhere, really. It's a back street in some city. Oh, it's kind of getting a little bit messy over here, but not too... Mm. Brazil? I don't know. Was that Spanish? Because I don't think it's um people are saying that's Spanish. I don't think it's Portuguese. So I don't know if Brazil. Definitely got the mountains for South America for sure. Spain? Do you think we're actually well I mean we could be in Spain? Mm. What's that look like? That city? Mm, no. I guess it could be another one. Yeah. Um, all right. What do we reckon? Anywhere Spanish is spoken, I know. Narrows it down, doesn't it? Really narrows it down on this one. Um, all right. What do we think? What do we think? That's right, hippie. You know, get in stuck, get stuck into that, um, Vegemite. All right, let's go. I don't know. I don't know. Anywhere Spanish. Let, you know what? Let's go Paraguay. We'll split the country in half. Could be Bolivia. Let's go Paraguay. Oh. Mexico. You were right. You were right. Everybody was right. Mexico. Right in the middle of Mexico City. I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay. All right. All right. We were right on at that time. I just was not listening. Was not listening. Um... Okay. All right. It's a bit of a contrast between, you know, obviously buildings not finished on this side of the road. Uh, let's skip the ad. We don't need ads. You haven't been the same since. You've been smarter. Look at all the stuff you've come up with since then. Hello, puppy. What are you doing out here? Um, I have no idea where we are. Developing country. Well, at least this corner of the... Anyway. Mm, I don't know what that graffiti is meant. Does that say fork? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because of tax laws. <laughs> 
probably pretty smart there, Rabbitin. Um, is it? I don't know what that. K A E I double A P A I. That's a lot of A's if that's the way they spelt it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. No, I, Greek, mm, double A. I, actually, that could be. Actually, the way the A is done as well. I don't know. It's all Greek to me. Maybe it might be Greece. Maybe with the mountains and everything. Mm, actually, it might be. Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to have a look at this. Hmm. Interesting. Could be Malta or Mauritius. Oh, um, Cyprus. Hmm. That's probably a good call. We probably are on Malta. There's been a couple of times where we've thought uh do you know what that might be because there's red and white little mm, but the flag is the different way isn't it there's another red and white thing somewhere can't remember where i saw it uh does that say oh nine i wonder if that's been abandoned since oh nine what is this 2023 that say yeah 2022 the, the actual picture yeah see here on the bin mm, see but the multi goes red and white that way vertical instead of horizontal there's a lot of dogs in greece as well uh strays um Mm, a bit shabby for Malta. See, yeah, I know. But maybe, maybe over the, the hill there might be. Yeah, I don't know. Might be over in Greece. I mean, there's a lot of obviously... Hmm... Mm. Oh, Richard is saying inland Malta is very run down. Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's go Malta. Um, we'll see if it's Malta. We don't have any Maltese in there. We used to have a Maltese, uh, somebody from Malta in the community at one stage. Um, I haven't seen her for a long, long time. All right. Let's go. Hmm. All right, let's go Malta. Let's let's hit it. Greece. Ah, uh, see, we're kind of we're kind of debating. Um. Wow. Okay, that's right there. Okay. We were kind of debating either or, so. We were in the right area. We we're kind of, you know. But, uh, okay. Greece. Many faces of Greece, that's for sure. Blame Richard, that's right. I blame Richard. Um, 
Okay, wherever we are, look at this place. Oh my God, look at this place. Wow. Oh man, I bet you they get some great, look at it. Holy snap and duck crap. Hungry? I am a little bit hungry, actually. Oh, you mean the country? This is Slovenia. I don't know where it is, but dang, it looks nice. Nice flat land in this. Um, look how flat this valley is. And then you've got the mountains all around you. Wow. That's very nice. Slovenia. A lot of people saying Slovenia. I guess it's the uh, language. Town name, maybe. Um, where was Slovenia? It's right in the place there, wasn't it? Where the hell am I? Over here. What are you doing? Slovenia. Okay. Greenest country in Europe. Okay. Never heard of that. I don't know where it is, but I just want to take a, I just want to, I don't know. I want to ride a bike somewhere <laughs> like this bloke up here. All right, let's do Slovenia. Hey. Wow. Okay. I think that's the first time we've ever, um, got Slovenia. So we're in Europe, European plates there. Um, Okay, very blocky. Hmm. All right, what's your first reaction? What's your first thought? Um, I was kind of thinking Poland, but I don't know. Russia looks Russian, but with European plates. Mm, no, it kind of, it does definitely look, um, uh, go to the sign on the house. Is there a sign? Wait, oh, is it another place? No. Um, I don't see any sign. Soviet era. It definitely looks like that. Um, that's in his sign. A lot of um, lots out the back for the apartment. So it's got a lot of um, growing tubes. That's good. Obviously somewhere we went gets a little cold there's a lot of wood there too so um on that block first house left ah oh, here i oh, beg your pardon jesus how the hell did you see that namora i says i think it says p u l y or P U something and and it's got a it looks like a G separate. White car at the back. This one? No, that's a silver car. Ah, oh, it's got a freaking sticker on it. It does too. Good catch, mate. Good catch. Um, okay. That, that's, um, that's a good clue. That's a good clue. Uh, good catches. Good catch on the sign and good catch on the sign on the car. Very well done. All right, let's do that one.
Hey. Nice catch. JTX, good catch, mate. Um, I'm thinking Netherlands, even before we spin. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, ooh, that hedge has seen better days. Oh, my God. What the hell did you do to your hedge? That looks terrible. Okay, so you can get up on the roof. Okay. I'm kind of thinking, um... Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe it's winter time. Because all the hedges are like that. Okay. I'm kind of thinking Netherlands. I don't know. That's my first thought. Mm, especially with the... Mm, nothing on there. No clue on there. Oh, no, that says Google. <laughs> I thought that was a sign on the building. It's a bloody sign for the photo. Oh, the bins look very interesting. Could be Denmark. Ooh, could be Denmark. What is that? I don't know. It's a nice little neat, um, little, um, suburb or gated community or whatever this is in here basketball net excellent everybody's got their little own um little backyard if that's what you call it little deck area bicycle could be denmark i think it's definitely up could be denmark could be the Netherlands. I don't think it's going to be. I mean, it could be. I take it that's a salt bin or the roads. Um, European plate. So we're definitely in um, Europe. I think we knew that. Mm, no words around a lot of signs eh Netherlands has yellow plates oh never noticed that before strangely it looks English as well yeah I don't know the sign I don't know I can't read the sign properly but well, yeah, well, it's obviously not going to be ink. It could be Irish, but I don't know. It don't, doesn't give us that feel. doesn't give us that feel. Same signs as the cycle path, yeah. Yeah, and obviously you wouldn't have that many. Well, I guess you could have European plates, but um, not that many anyway. I don't know what, what is that? Is that like little bikes or something? I don't know what that is. Um, all right. What do we reckon? I love the little green shed. A lot of bicycles around here. I don't know. I can't. I'm still getting a Netherlands feel, but I don't know. Um. Uh, Place that snows a, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the pitch of the roofs for sure. It's very high pitch. You're going to stick with Denmark? Okay. Um, I mean, it's definitely got that. Definitely got the feel. All right. Does anybody have anything better than Denmark? Could definitely be it. All right, let's do Denmark. Sweden. 
Huh. Didn't see that coming. Did not see Sweden coming in at all. But that whole Northern Europe, very similar. What the heck? okay what the hell is a google car driving down this road for what in the it looks abandoned doesn't it not gonna lie kind of gives me um what the hell is this guy walking at the back here with his hands in his pockets okay uh mr google driver i'd get out of there mate i would get out of there That's what I was thinking straight away, uh, Rabbit Dam. Um, ooh, Belarus. <sighs> ooh, that could be a good one. We haven't, I don't think we've ever had Belarus. All my reaction videos are either blocked in Russia or Belarus. Um, they're the only two countries. Ah, see, I say it's abandoned, but is that working? That might actually be working. I mean, from this angle, it looked like nobody's been here for about 50 years, but, um, is that a timber yard? I don't know what it even does. Oh, oh maybe that's a, I thought that was a cloud. Okay. Maybe that's, um, actual working. Okay. Maybe it's actually working. Hmm. Fence is definitely rusted. Um, Ukraine. Looks like a power station. It kind of does, but it's kind of not at the same time. Like, there doesn't seem like enough in there, but maybe, maybe it's double sided. Who knows? Uh, all right. Ukraine, Belarus, Russia. What are we going to go with? Mm, I don't know. A lot of forest in the background here too. I mean, even the roads and stuff look worse for wear. Like it, maybe at one stage it was kind of like a nice road. Uh, let's go. Mm, it's going to be a total guess, I think. Uh, let's split the difference between Ukraine and Russia. Go Belarus. Let's go Belarus. We've never guessed them before, I don't think. Um, stick with Belarus. All right. Could be just outside Minsk. Who knows? All right, let's do it. Bulgaria. What? Well, I guess that is another place that kind of... Okay. Industrial zone. Well... Did not see that coming. Bulgaria. Okay. Nobnol is the capital of Bulgaria. If you understand that reference, you are a smeghead. Uh, all right. power plant right there no parking 24 hours
Uh, it kind of looks. As... I don't know. Is it hmm. railway terrace? Um, driving on the left. The driver on the right side. It could be. A... Mm, I don't know if it's Australian. Um, no, I think the. I mean, it, it's very Australian signs. We have all these signs. It could be New Zealand, actually. Uh, red. No, that's Australian. Red Rooster is Australian. Red Rooster is Australian. It is delicious. Uh, crunchy red chicken, yummy. Uh, yeah, they look like bogans. This is definitely Australian. <laughs> What's that say? I don't know. It kind of does look Australian now. Uh, school's obviously just out. Yeah, Foodworks is uh, Australian as well. Mmm. I definitely want to say straight, man, this is going to suck if it's New Zealand. I don't know if they have Red Rooster in New Zealand, though. I don't know. It's definitely got a... Mm, you know, it kind of looks like... Um, I don't know. Uh, yellow, yellow's um, New South Wales, but I, I don't know. They're not all yellow. All right. No, no red rooster in New Zealand. Not you've ever seen. Okay, let's go Australia. I think it's definitely Australia. Hey, it's just outside Sydney. We don't care about them. Uh, Guildford. All right. Good times. Good time. <sighs> Lucky I got Australia right. Jesus. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Um, okay. Does anybody recognize what that says? I have no idea what even language that is. Who knows? Can't identify the language. Mm. All right, let's have a look around. Okay. Mmm. Uh very kinda interesting wear and tear on the buildings too. It says Milan. And then it says Inter over here. I don't know. Eastern European? That's what... Oh, it's Albanian? Ooh. I've been to Albania before. Um, When I was on the island of Corfu. We're right up the top here, I think we were. Uh, and then we went over to Albania, which is... um Interesting country. Interesting country, to say the least. Um... You know, just coming out of that Eastern Bloc with USSR, and it's kind of um, 
Italian plates. Um, Emperor Eagle. Oh my God, mate. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen you. How are you going? Years ago, mate. Years ago. God. That must be going, what, six, seven years ago? Um, oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, nice to hear that, mate. Nice to hear that. Yeah, so when we went to Albania, we took a bus trip, which was the scariest bus trip I've ever been on. Um, cause there is a lot of mountains, but it's all dirt roads. Um, well, the ones that we went on anyway, you come around the corner, we came around the corner on a bus on a tiny little road and had to squeeze past on the outside, mind you, squeeze past a bloody cement truck, man, the scariest time in my life. Ridiculous. Um, but it was, um, interesting. The most thing we had to deal with um, when we got off the boat from um, Corf. Is that a brick line in the middle of the road? What in the hell? Where the hell did that come from? Looks like somebody's been throwing br bricks on the ground. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a dog as well. Uh, yeah, so when we come off the boat, it was children begging. Man, that was a bit of a... Um, a bit of a culture shock for sure. Pretty sure we were here yeah, six, seven hundred sub, right? Uh, yeah, probably when we were still playing Subnautica as well. Um, oh no, God, no, Repidam, that's the scariest thing. But Albania has double blue at the old plates. Well, there's a double blue there. Blue, blue. Yeah, Subnautica. Yeah, I haven't played it for a while. I haven't played. It. I've kind of been thinking about going back to it. There's a lot of, yeah, see, double blue on the plates as well. Maybe it is Albania. Um,. I've been thinking about going back to Subnautica, but there's um, there's a whole lot of there's a new one that's just come out that's like um, what is it, Planet Crafter? It's just come um, full game. That's very much like um, Subnautica, but in space. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of games to play, but trying to get the time that's the that's the difficult bit. Uh, all right, what do we reckon? I'm reckon Albania. I think Albania is pretty good for this one. All right, let's go. Let's go Albania. Um, I kind of did a little bit of that below zero. I just didn't didn't catch on. Didn't catch on. Um, below zero it just kind of had a real different feel to it. You never felt like you're alone or in danger or you couldn't get off the planet. So it just kind of been um. Kind of had a real different feel to than Subnautica. All right, let's go Albania. Hey, right in the middle. Good times. I'm pretty sure we were right down here when we did it. Um, a lot of infrastructure going in, but not much to back it up. A lot of empty concrete houses. All right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It didn't really have any kind of connection, really. So, because you're always talking to that person on the radio as well, and it just kind of didn't feel. It didn't feel. You didn't feel isolated. That was the thing about Subnautica. You're definitely on your own. Uh. Okay. 
European plates. It's got a blue and a yellow. Blue and a yellow. That's interesting. I must look some. Um, maybe a little Mediterranean. I don't know. Spain, you reckon? I could see Spain. It's definitely got the light for it. Like, it's nice and bright. Um, yep. It looks like Spain, Greece, Italy. Yeah, it definitely got that feel. What's the yellow, though? Blue, European, but it's got a yellow on it. As I could see like a Spanish town. Hmm. That this roundabout's just throwing me completely because I don't. It's like, what, what? No, that's on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, man, I would not do good driving in this town. It, damn. Oh, like a kind of like mosaic floor. Okay, I like that. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling the Spain. Not going to lie. Kind of feeling it. Mm, Portugal. A lot of terracotta roofs. Yep, yep, yep. We know they're like their pottery in Spain, that's for sure. Um, oh, that roof has seen better days, but anyway. Portugal would be a good one. Right on the... Uh, mm. Ah, uh, see, it could be. Mm. I don't know. We do see a, a little bit of land over there as well. I mean, I guess it could be over here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking. Oh, the more saying Portugal. You vote Portugal. Yeah, from the EU sticker. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, there's a lot, especially if you get personalized plates as well, too. Kind of throws it in a. Um, is that bar? No, not barbed wire. Jesus, I was going to say. Spain, Portugal. Hmm. I mean, if we could see a little bit of writing, it would um, definitely narrow it down for us, that's for sure. All right, Portugal. All right, let's go Portugal. Everybody saying Portugal, go. Oh, whoa. Uh, okay. Wait, what the hell are we looking at then? Oh, this is what we're looking at. Okay, we're looking this way. I was going to say, what the hell are we looking at? There's no... <laughs> okay. Uh, whoops, wait, what? Oh, this is where we this is where we are in Google Maps. Okay. Uh that's weird. Get off of there. Uh, wait, what the hell am I doing? What the uh, just wait. What the hell are you doing? Get off of there. That's better. Alright. Alright. That's correct. Let's go to the next one. Uh, we do have roundabouts in Australia, but we drive on the other side of the road. Uh, so the approach and everything was on the wrong side. This looks like a Nordic town. Switzerland. Ooh, actually, that could... And look at the rolling green hills and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, Switzerland.
Yeah, yeah, we drive the same as uh, the UK. Yep. Yeah, a lot, a lot is um the same as the UK. Okay, look at this road going up the hill here. Jeez. Phil in Austria. Switzerland, the writing is in German. Uh... Okay. Switzerland, Austrian. Mm. Uh, Tilo, how are you, mate? Welcome. You love watching the Australian Police Patrol program? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sudden urge for chocolate and cheese. Get the old fondue out. Um... Okay. So what do we reckon? Could be Austria Bavaria. This is a very interesting mound in the in the middle, isn't it? I wonder if that's man made. Okay. So what the chalets are definitely kinda can't see anything in that. Um, definitely Swiss. All right, let's go. Well, a lot of people say in Switzerland. All right. All right, everybody's saying um, you would say Bavaria. Um, I don't know. I think um, I think Namora actually lives in Bavaria. So I think if she's not saying Bavaria, maybe it's. I mean, I know what you're talking about though. Um, it's almost uh textbook, isn't it? The forest, and then you've got the steeple, rolling hills, the German. Um, it's very green compared to Australia. This is paradise. Um, oh, your area looks totally different. Bav Bavaria is right. Yeah. Bavaria is pretty large. Um, ooh, I mean, they're, I mean, they're right next door to each other. Well, we go Switzerland. It, it is gorgeous. That's for sure. I bet you it's going to be Bavaria. Uh, actually, in saying that, um, Silent Legion Gaming is German as well. So, yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> oh, baka. Um. All right, let's go Germany. If it's but it's probably going to be Estonia. <laughs> Go. Germany. Oh, Switzerland. Damn it. Everybody had it right. Dang it. Wow. Wherever it is, it is. Oh, wow. They've got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So people were right. I should have listened again. Should have listened again. Monaco. <laughs> Okay. Um Wow. Wow, are we just in this little town that we just uh looked at? It almost looks like the same architecture. Um The hills with the stone on it though. I don't know. It kind of looks um it kind of looks exactly where we bloody were just two minutes ago. Um <laughs> looks similar. I think we're in the same bloody town. 
Uh, where were we before? I think we're in the same bloody town. Um, I mean, we could be. I can't remember where we were just, um, wait, weren't we in Switzerland? We were, we're over here somewhere. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks almost exactly the same. Oh, it's almost three o'clock, so we better get it right. Is it Windhager? W-I-N-D-H-E-G-E-R? Looks quite Austrian. Well, considering it says Achtung Kinder, attention children, um, wait, did I just read something in German? <laughs> wow, my language skills are really are improving. Tell you what, <laughs> Germany. Well, it's definitely a German sign. Um, Austria, because Switzerland would be more French signs. Hmm. I mean, the architecture. Could definitely be either or. Um, yeah. Come from where we were, that, that green rolling hills, it's very stony, it's very rocky in the back here. Um, wherever it is, it looks like a nice little village to kind of just walk around for the day. Walk up over here into the chalet. Get a nice cup of coffee. Ah, oh, be brilliant. Nice. This stone building is going to be here forever. Look at it. Jesus. All right. What do we reckon? Uh, can you hear the kids singing? I don't, if Maria comes around this corner, we know exactly where we are. Okay, what are we, ah, man. Austria, Germany, Switzerland, it's definitely, uh, will we get Austria this time? Cam's going Germany, Namora's going Austria, Richard's saying Austria, watch out for the kids, they're dangerous, that's it. All right, let's go. Let's go Austria. Now watch it be Germany. Oh. oh, wow. That is right down the border almost. Okay. Wherever this is, this is a nice little town. Um, St. Stephen. Okay. Nice little, nice little town. Black top bollards. We've got to remember that for next time. Uh, okay. Unusual rocky outcrop. Um, Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Where the hell are we? Um, interesting landscape. New Zealand? Kind of feels weirdly Scandinavian. Could be. Could be New Zealand. It's country of the long white cloud. Um, I don't know. I don't know which way this car is driving. Is it driving this way? 
I'm assuming. I don't know. There's a lot of sheep. Could be New Zealand. New Zealand might be a good guess, maybe. Like cows. Bit of cow, bit of sheep. Um, are we driving this way or is it driving that way? I can't tell. The car looks similar both ways. Um, okay, Finland has tall trees and uh, big green plains. Could be anywhere. New Zealand might be a good call, but um, hmm. I mean, there's not much to go on. A couple of trees and stuff, but got a lot of red soil. Very rich iron deposits in the soil. Cows and sheep. Yeah, it's a very stony outlook as well. It almost looks like... Mm. I was going to say granite, but I don't know. Hmm, interesting. All right, what's the telegraph poles look like? They look pretty... Mm. 2013 this photo quite an old picture uh not not the uk no potholes Do you know what for lack of better choice maybe we could go new zealand could definitely be nordic especially with the the trees Mm. All right. I mean, down south here could definitely be like that. I don't know. Let's go New Zealand. Let's go New Zealand. Go. Oh. oh, it is New Zealand. See, told you, South Island. Okay. Good guess. Good guess. Ah, okay. Well, that kind of narrows it down. Dot IO. Ambassador. Indonesia. Now, I might be wrong. Don't quote me. Don't quote me on it. Um, we may be in Indonesia. Now, don't quote me. I'm just saying. Especially with the red and white flags and stuff. Um, just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, colorful trash truck. Yes. All right. Spring Air, Royal Ashton Furniture. All righty, let's go. And if it's not Indonesia, that's going to be terrible. Wow, I like this um stained glass. Wow. All right, let's go. Um, the number plates are very dark, aren't they? If this is Indonesia, let's um remember that for next time. Yeah, they're very dark, aren't they? Almost like a black. 
All right, let's go. Um, let's go Indonesia with the red and white flag. Uh, let's go that one. All righty. Go. Ah, uh, see, that was a good guess. Woo, good guessing. <laughs> All right, Yahoo. What the? That's um Russian, isn't it? It's Slav. Uh, okay. Okay. Which flag? And uh, doesn't say. Oh wait, which flag is that? Yeah, doesn't look like any flag. Feels Russian. Looks Russian to you, yeah. Now, is it Russian or Ukrainian? Everything's green. That's a big building, isn't it? See, even that is green as well. Uh, the golden lined building over here screamed Russia. Um, definitely could be Russian for sure. No, yeah, no yellow and blue. Yeah, no, they do a lot of their stuff in Ukraine is yellow and blue. Um, okay. Well, we go. Oh, look, there's Pepsi. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's that say? It's funny how that's in English, though. Huh. And the computer service is in English as well. That's interesting. What's that say? Best Western? In Russia? Um, Turkey, Mongol, you know what, when I was flipping around here, I was thinking Mongolia, because they do, but I don't know what they're, um, I know they've got a lot of, uh, I don't know what their townships are like in Mongolia. Look, there's a Time magazine as well. There's a lot of stuff that kind of not points to Russia. Um, I don't know. Oof, now that's thrown a... Mm. Yeah, too many Western influences. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Because the English is... And the best Western. But it's definitely got Russian... Right. I like the, the start of this... um The window here. It's like an arcade or something. I don't know what that is. But um, I like the look of it. Imagine the sun coming through that inside the actual shop. Oh, man. That must look amazing. Uh... But it... It's definitely got Russian influence, but then it's got a lot of um, Western as well. Is 
it's just an Olympic or it's definitely got people doing um gymnastics or is that an Olympic picture? I don't know. It's got yin and yang. Is that yin and yang? Oh, I might go Mongolia. Mongolia might seem a little um Mm. Oh man, this one is a difficult one. Yeah, it's got multiple flags, but I think usually the one in the middle. Mm, see, red and blue is the Mongolian flag. But I think it's an international play, so that's why it's got so many different flags. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's got a lot more than... I don't know. Um, oh, this one's a, this one's a, this one's a difficult. Belarus? Would Belarus have as much? Um, oh, maybe, who knows? I don't know anything about Belarus. The only thing I recognize about Belarus is their capital, Minsk. That's about it. Could be Belarus. Um, I think it's, I mean, Kazakhstan speaks Russian as well. They have a very, um, but they also have Kazi as well, and we don't really see any of that. Uh, all here. Yeah, I guess it could be. Oh, wait, what's that? I wonder. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's Mongolia. I think it's Mongolia. Because there's that Orgill supermarket. And we've got the Palace Museum, which I think that is what it is. Um, I think that's what that means. Um, because there's the Orgill. I think it's Mongolia. I think we've got it right in the... The thing here. Um, I think this is maybe where we are. Hey, you reach this place. Um, I think this is where we are. Genghis Khan Avenue. Well, oh, that would fit, wouldn't it? All right, let's go for Mongolia. Let's go for it. Okay. Hey. Right exactly where we were. Okay. Best Western. There you go. Oh, it's the art gallery. Okay. So we were in the right spot. We were right in the right spot. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And, of course, now we're in the middle of the bloody push. Uh, okay, Southeast Asia. Um, all right, let's go a quick one. Let's go a quick one. Let's go to Thailand. Go. Ah, oh, Indonesia. I mean, there's no way you could have guessed that, unless you knew exactly what. Um, well, it's not Europe. All right, let's do our last one because we're coming up for two hours. Come on, give us a good easy one. Easy one. <sighs> wow, look at the difference in the green. There's it. Green. There's it. 
I like the um the house. Um, I think we might be North Africa. I'm kind of thinking Tunisia. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's, um, North African. Even the gates, um, it's kind of got like a, I'm not going to lie. That looks almost Arab, um, influence, like from Saudi Arabia, definitely the influence on the gates and the building. Tunisia has a green follow car. What the hell does that mean? Like this car? Well, definitely. Well, I don't know if that's green from the car or the from the gentleman in the car. Well, person in the car. I shouldn't assume that's a gentleman driving. But um, wow, there's a tear in the space-time continuum. Okay, um, I'm I'm kind of thinking Tunisia. And no car following. Well, there's no car following, so unless he's uh way back in the in the traffic. I'm kind of thinking Tunisia. Is that a Man United shirt? No. Wait, is that a Liverpool? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Better not be Liverpool. We don't we don't take that stuff around here. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of feeling, um, I'm kind of feeling Tunisia. Not going to lie. Maybe. All right. What do we reckon? We got one one guess. This is the last guess of the day. Obviously, building's not completed yet. Senegal. Oh, we just had Senegal before. Well, I guess so. What is this? The Gambia. Ooh, okay. Because we had Dakar before, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, architecture feels European inf influence. Mm. I mean, it looks, still looks like we've got a little bit more traditional housing down here. Um, I, I don't know. I think this is more Saudi Arabian. And may, I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but anyway, let's go. I mean, Senegal is as good as um, choice as any. It's definitely, I kind of feel like it's definitely North African. So, all right, let's go Senegal for a lack of um, a better choice. Let's do this one. Go. Hey, right in the middle too. Dang, good choice, mate. Okay. Okay. Good way to end it. Good way to end it. First one down. Uh, good um, good choice. All right, that is going to be it for today. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh thank you very much for joining us today uh don't forget we'll be back tomorrow oh the rifts in the sky gave it away see told you pointing out the space-time continuum uh we're still bad at this game some of it we got pretty good like a few good guesses some of it we have no idea we still have no idea um but we're getting there we're getting there so guys thank you very much for joining us um make sure you push that like button too if you enjoyed this at all we'll be back tomorrow with our music reaction stream guys but in the meantime make sure you stay safe and i'll definitely see you back here on youtube for our next game of geo guesser and we'll see you tomorrow for some music guys we'll see you then